Kems 1492 bringing you another episode of Kems Killer Sources. Here with good old Neil Smith from the Hippie C Company. Hey Cam. We're going to be reviewing some Yellow 7 Jam. It's one of Neil's jams that he makes. Yeah. On the Triple Cream Brie, is it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Never nice. had it personally myself, but without further ado, we'll get into it and see how this tastes. Cheers for you. Cheers, mate. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. Yeah. Mm. That's incredible. <laughs> Not spicy at all, just a little bit of a kick. Really sweet. What else? Really sweet, yeah. Um this stuff is the best. Well, yeah, try a bit by itself. Building? No, nah, not really. Not really. Not really. It's, pretty, it's pretty good at the moment, but... So you can even have that by itself on ice cream? Yeah, that'd be nice. Even on desserts. Some pancakes or something. That'd, that'd be really nice on pancakes. Ice cream, waffles, anything sweet. That'd be great on... Now it's starting to build now that I've had the little bit on the thing. Got a little bit of tears happening, but mm. it tastes really, really nice. Really sweet, but it's sweet and the chilli to give it that kick, but it's not too much of a kick to mm. kick you in the ass. It's a good oh, yellow seven pods. All around burn, that's beautiful, yellow seven pods. Ah. That's beautiful. It's like the hot banana, that's nice too. I just get the, I like the idea that I get to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's it's beautiful. That cheese is nice too. I've never personally had that before. Well, I'm normally not a soft cheese fan, but the yellow one goes really well with the soft cheeses. We'll get into the red one later with some tasty cheese. But the yellow good. and the fruitiness of that, the yellow seven, seems to work really well with brie and camembert. That's nice. I've no, that cheese is nice too. I've never had it before personally, but. Without further ado, I'm Kems1492, bringing you another episode of Kems Killer Sources. Stay killer. <laughs> 